normally, when I talk about games, I'm analyzing theory. I'm taking my own subjective experience in a game and projecting that experience outward to form a sort of idea. In Satisfactory, it was a theme analysis about unsafe and immoral working practices. However, today, I am not talking about themes or lore. No, today, I am talking about a singular game mechanic that can make or break the atmosphere of a game. Today, we are talking about sound and horror. So, get yourself a nice drink, put on your best pair of headphones, and turn the audio up. Because today, we hunt. Really quick, before we begin, if you're a casual audiophile like myself, like videos with shitty memes in them, play D&D or enjoy a quick laugh, it would make my day if you subscribed. It's free and it takes one click, and it would truly give me inspiration to make more content. If you like Hunt Showdown, let me know if I should make more content like this down in the comment section below. Now, with that out of the way, listen closely. Hunters are approaching. Hunt Showdown, for those who do not know, is an extraction shooter in the same vein as Escape from Tarkov, set in 1890s Louisiana, my home state. This means that we're using 1890s guns and technology. The catch here is that dark magics have begun to reanimate the dead and rain terror upon the locals of the bayou. You see, Hunt is described by Crytek as a supernatural horror game, in addition to its identity as an extraction shooter. As a horror game, it is critical to bring forth an atmosphere that you should be scared of. The way that Hunt pulls this off is through masterful sound design that elevates it from immersive to fully anxiety and terror inducing. First things first, everything in Hunt Showdown makes noise. If you hear it, someone else also can potentially hear it. No sound in Hunt is faked. There is no music once you enter a match. If you hear it, something caused it full stop. The sound system within Hunt is extremely robust and uses a number of tricks to fool your brain into knowing exactly where something is located in your match. I will highlight two of these tricks today. The first is that sound attenuates realistically over distance. This means that the further away something is, the quieter it will be to you. Things like explosions and gunshots ring out loud enough to be heard by the entire map, while footsteps only go a couple dozen meters depending on speed. This gives a scale of distance. Hearing a far off gunshot is no big deal, but hearing a twig snap from behind you certainly is. The second trick Hunt employs is a lovely thing called binaural audio. When hearing sounds in real life, the vibrations propagate through the air and hit your ears. Sometimes a sound could be coming from behind, above, or on the side of you. How can your ears or brain tell the difference? It all lies in the speed of sound. You see, when a sound reaches your two ears at different times, your brain decodes that information as a direction. Even a microsecond difference is far enough for your brain to understand exactly what direction a sound is coming from. Animals like most owls have offset ears, so that they may hear prey at different elevations for this exact reason. If you're ever having trouble hearing what direction a sound is coming from, try tilting your head in a direction. This will increase the delay and give your brain a better chance at decoding that direction. Back to Hunt. This is the exact principle Crytek has baked into their game. The slight delay and gain differences between your ears gives you a direction. With the combination of these two principles, you have both a direction and distance for any sounds happening near or far. This sound system allows for your ears to act as an extra set of eyes and is a nearly perfect execution of the concept. Of course, sounds don't have to be the big explosions or gunshots. It can also be in the minute details. After all, you're in the warm, humid swamps of Louisiana. The atmosphere should reflect such an environment. Indulge me for a moment. I'm going to give you some unedited audio and invite you to close your eyes and focus your ears. 
I'm going to turn up the volume a bit, but that is the only element of these clips I will edit. Feast your ears, my friends. Is it not wonderful how many objects and items make sound? You can almost feel the mosquitoes biting, almost smell the wet mud and horse crap. By making the environment feel alive, any silent moments feel too quiet. Like there's something nearby that the animals can sense that you cannot. And this is without even mentioning the different states the map can have, such as night, fog, serpent's moon, and wildfire, all of which come with their own auditory and visual challenges. Speaking of animals and environments, what if I told you that Hunt Showdown features a grand total of zero harmful environmental effects? At least, not directly harmful. Groups of ducks or crows, myriads of bottles and cans, caged dogs and crippled horses, all of the above are known by the community as sound traps. None can harm you but they do tip off your location to players and AI alike. Getting too close to a group of avians sends them cawing in the opposite direction of the player that spooked them. These birds can actually be seen in the sky, traveling in that same direction, giving players an even more precise bead on your location. Cage dogs and horses when spooked will make a lot of noise, and will continue to make noise unless you put them down, thus making more noise and walking on glass or cans. Well, it lets players directly track where you are in real time. It also makes an ungodly amount of noise compared to a normal walking surface. In Hunt, if you want any chance of being stealthy, you have to avoid sound traps. If you don't, well, you'll be hunted. I've talked a good bit about the sounds of the environment here, and they go a very long way to selling the idea that you're being hunted and need to keep your eyes and ears on everything. However, other players aren't the only thing you need to worry about. Remember, the dead don't stay dead here, and the thing they want most is you dead. Grunts are your basic zombie that you see in media like The Walking Dead, World War Z, zombie games, etc. They run at you and try to kill anything that they see that isn't like them, and as far as threats go, they pose little to no harm to a seasoned hunter. But what they lack in threat, they make up for in numbers. Make too much noise and grunts act like a sound trap themselves, running directly toward the player. Any sharp-eyed observers can take note of this, and easily throw a bullet or two in your direction. We've seen these guys before, and as far as the bayou is concerned, there's much more interesting threats, so I'll move on. When a woman is pregnant in the cursed areas of the bayou, instead of giving birth to a human child, their body gestates a hive that eventually bursts through their torso. This leaves the body hanging in half, still alive. We see this illustrated through their agonized screams, as if they're yelling out to anyone near to end their suffering. All the while, a swarm of poisonous insects buzz in the background. Within the waters of Louisiana, 
lies a terrifying, aggressive threat. A swarm of leech-like creatures that voraciously devour anything they sense enter their waters. These water devils make a terrifying swarm of screeches when spooked. The reason we see no gators in Hunt Showdown is because the water devils ate them all. In the compounds of Hunt, there's a threat that you will hear before you see. A wet stomping noise, squelching of flesh, and a low grumble that shakes the ground and paints the picture of a giant lurking around the corner. The meathead is a swollen, infested corpse whose head is missing and whose body is filled with leeches. It cannot hear or see, and instead uses the leeches as scouts to see where it cannot. Meatheads are the most threatening, non-boss mob to a hunter, and are best to be avoided rather than directly fought. Your objective in Hunt is to track down and kill a boss for their bounty. As of now, there are four bosses in game, each with their own strategy and design. Of course, each boss has a unique sound design that sets them apart from each other and makes them each uniquely terrifying. These bosses make a lot of noise when being fought. If another team has decided to kill the boss, you can usually hear it screeching from anywhere in the compound. For a game featuring lots of weapons, Hunt does a very good job of differentiating them. For starters, every single gun has a subtle but different sound when fired. A skilled hunter can deduce what another hunter is firing from the sound of the gunshot alone, even at a distance. Second, melee weapons are always accompanied by a satisfying noise when they hit an opposing player. These sounds give weight and satisfaction to a hunter's actions, making it really feel like you just bonked someone on the head with a shovel. Speaking of weaponry, Here's a few minute audio details that Hunt gives us concerning weaponry. Whenever a bullet hits an object near you, it will have a trailing ricochet sound effect. If you fire a loud gun too often, your ears will begin to ring. This acts as a temporary debuff and a punishment for spamming your bullets too much. And finally, for the detail that impressed me the most. Yes, aiming down sights makes a noise. And this isn't flavor. This is a real-world sound effect that can be heard by other players as well. If it's too quiet in an area and you hear this noise, well, it might be too late. Ah! 
Hunt Showdown sports what could be the most powerful audio system in the industry. In Hunt, audio isn't just a part of the game, like most others. It is a tool. A sense that you can use to your advantage, or others can use against you. By being able to hear the precise distance and direction of any sound generated in the game world, Crytek has elevated the sense of hearing from music and sound effects to a vital part of survival. This makes everything you do have a sense of paranoia surrounding it. If something is too quiet, it might be too good to be true. Terrifying monsters, other hunters out for blood, and all the sounds in this world that will lead them straight to you. Hunt is an absolute masterclass in sound design, and should be industry standard, but it isn't. No other shooter type games would ever pour such detail and love into something innocuous as sound. So as a tip to AAA Studios, take a lesson from Hunt Showdown. Fear and audio go hand in hand.